Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to a new episode. We're going to be continuing with our main quest on Manan. And our next step from here is to head to the Republic Embassy. And there we have to speak to someone and ask them about the star map, I believe. So we're going to beeline it straight for... Uh, it's in the hotel area. So we've got to go back there. It's right next to the hotel. I'm going to stop by the general store though, first, for some goodies. Thanks, Tybark. Catch you next week. Yes, enough for your outburst. Let me see what you have. So nothing interesting, got it. Alright, I'm just going to buy all the advanced med packs. Can't have too many med packs. And I'm going to sell that useless one. Anything else worth buying? I don't think so. Alright, that's said and done. Let's go to the hotel. Was it up this way? There we go. So the same way towards the hotel, but to the right. And I believe we're going to find the Republic's headquarters or something like that. Or Roland, I think that's who we speak to. Welcome to Manan. I'm Roland Wan. As the official representative of the Republic Embassy on this planet, I'm here to help all citizens of the Republic should they require aid. Why are your soldiers loading so much Colto? Colto is a precious resource. Its healing powers are near miraculous. During times of war, Colto becomes even more valuable. As long as we have the permits, we will continue to harvest Colto and ship it to our Republic soldiers battling against the Sith. Of course, the Sith enjoy the very same privileges. If there was some way we could gain an edge over the Sith and our Colto supply, but the Selkath are fiercely protective of their neutrality in this conflict. They do not want to grant either side an advantage. Hmm, I'm on a mission from the Jedi Council. Perhaps you can help me. Oh, of course. Of course I'll do whatever I can. But I'm only a simple diplomatic representative of the Republic. I doubt I can be of any use to the Jedi Council. Maybe you can be of use. I need a star map. An ancient and forgotten race. And you think it may be here on Manan? You know something? Well, perhaps. But if you want to get information about that, you'll have to do something for me first. Oh, here it comes. What can I do for you? No, no. You do what I want and maybe I can help you out. Until then, nothing. Hmm. We were using a submersible reconnaissance droid in the ocean surrounding Otto City, and it was damaged. It took a data recording of the outside of the city before being driven off by the Faraxan sharks. But while it was returning to the surface, it encountered difficulties and was disabled. Its automatic systems floated it to the surface, but we could not retrieve it in time. The Sith were applying subtle pressure to the Selkath authorities for some reason we've not determined. 
and were able to delay us long enough that they could retrieve the droid before we did. The droid's data centers are heavily encrypted, so it will take the Sith several days, we believe, to get to its data. It was captured 12 hours ago. It is imperative that we get it back. Sounds important. What is this recording? It's intelligence information about Sith activities on Manan, as well as some oceanographic reports on the local marine life. What do you want me to do? It's heavily guarded, we're sure, in the Sith Embassy here on Manan. Since we have no remaining soldiers to spare, and certainly not our elite ones, we have no one capable of entering the Sith base and retrieving it. That is what we would ask you to do. Looks like we're going to get into some action. There are several leads we've been working on to get into the Sith base. Any of them should work for you, although it might be wise to concentrate your efforts on just one. The first method that's possible is to help us interrogate a Sith prisoner we managed to catch after he tried to infiltrate our base. He's being held just inside our enclave. We think he may be able to give us the passcode that the Sith give their informers to enter the base. He has proved most resilient so far. Interrogating the prisoner. Is there another way? We managed to pick up a crate of blank Sith data cards, the type they use for pass cards. The encryption system to unlock them is very difficult, however. But if you are more skilled than our technicians, you may be able to gain access that way. Is there another way? The Sith have got the Seltcaf to give them exclusive use of one of the main hangar bays. Visiting Sith Masters use this bay to land, then take a speeder over the water to an external entrance to the Sith Enclave. The luckless spy we mentioned earlier had a pass card to that hangar on him. While it is surely well guarded, it may prove to be the most direct route. Here's the card. The Sith base itself is very heavily guarded. If they became aware of your presence, I fear you would be quickly outnumbered and killed. Here is a pass card to get you inside our facility. You should find all you need to get started in there. You can choose whichever of the methods you want as long as you get in the base and get the data recording back. Which method do you think you would like to try first? Okay, so we've got three options, three different ways in which we could get into the Sith base. I could try interrogating the prisoner first and see if that works. Good call. Just make sure you don't push him too hard or we might lose him. I wish might as well, right? Task. Should you retrieve the data recording from the droid, return it here to me and we can see about getting you that information. Cool. Let's see what we can accomplish. Sith prisoner, here we go. So, you're the one Roland has got to help us interrogate this prisoner. I hope your Jedi powers will come in useful. This one has been most resistant. He's a Sith spy we picked up a little while ago, snooping around outside trying to get in. We thought he was suspicious and brought him inside when the Selkath weren't looking. But it seems the Sith have done a pretty good job of conditioning this guy and we haven't been able to break him yet. What did they do to him? The Sith protect their really important spies with some sort of mental force feedback system. They can turn their minds in on themselves so force compulsions won't affect them. Combine this with conventional training to resist interrogation and sometimes it takes months to get them to tell what they know. Do you want to interrogate him now? Yes, please. Well, the training the Sith gave him will protect him from most normal interrogation techniques and also from force persuasion. We have found a few hooks you might find useful. He was with another man when he was first spotted. We think it was another spy, but we didn't manage to catch him. We also seized some personal documents he had on him when he was captured. It would seem that he's married to a woman named Tila. We checked this in our computers and it seems to hold up. We've sent a couple of agents to investigate, but it may be a while. What do I have to work with? What we have here is your standard issue truth serum. Oh, issue truth serum, hey? Guts in no time. But there is a catch. Catch. Because of his conditioning, he's able to resist it at small doses. But if you give him too much, his body realizes what you're trying to do and shuts his mind down completely. If you do that, you'll have to inject him with an antidote that neutralizes the truth serum. Unfortunately, that too has a drawback. Oh, I detect a pattern here. It causes short-term memory loss. This may work to your advantage because you can try the same tactic over and over again. But if you use it too much, he may forget everything we want to know. Shall we get it started then? Alright, looks like we got some games to play. Hey you, wake up. Someone wants to talk to you. 
All right. First step. What are we doing? Maybe I won't inject him with it straight away. Let's interrogate him. What do you want? Relax. I'm not here to threaten you. You're not. <laughs> you lies. You work for the Republic. All right. We have three persuade options. We're the only ones who will take you in now. If you talk, we can make it worth your while. I don't want to hurt you unless you make me. I feel like going the least aggressive route will give us optimal results. Or we could tempt him with something, I don't know. Maybe a good time. <laughs> worth my while. Well, that worked. The Sith don't pay very well, but they'd kill me. The Sith will never trust you again, Spy. We're the only place you have left. Tell us what we want to know. But they... They wouldn't... Oh, that worked too. They... Don't want to hurt you unless you make me. Please. Please don't hurt me. Okay, they all worked. Uh, what do you want? We have some good luck so far. We know about your companion. Mm. We don't really need you. Your companion will tell us what we need to know anyway. The gutless Sith worm is already starting to crack. We'll have what we need within hours. Uh, no, never. Damn, we blanked out. All right, let's inject him. Uh. Boy, what do you want? Maybe we should do something about Teller. Tila. How did you find out about her? Talk or something may happen to her. No, please don't hurt her. Please. We have her already. She may be spared if you talk. No, please don't hurt her. Please. This seems to be working. We could make life easy for both of you here in the Republic. Yes, it could be so much easier. Boy, what do you want? We know about your companion. What? What companion? Perhaps we would give you back to the Sith, but keep him. Of course, they would never believe we let you go so easily. But they would all too happily believe you betrayed them. Mm. No. And that didn't never. work either. Damn. You blanked out. Uh. Boy, what do you want? Maybe we should do something about Taylor. How did you find out about her? We could make life easy for both of you here in the Republic. Yes. It could be so much easier. Talk or something may happen to her. No, please don't hurt her. Please. We have her already. She may be spared if you talk. All right. All right. I'll tell you what you want to know. What's the passcode to the Sith base? It's... It's Zeta 245698-Alpha. Just... No more. Good. With this pass, you should be able to get into the Sith base without trouble. Just don't delay too long or they might learn that he's been captured. There we go. We got the code out of him. So all I had to do was actually run through the dialogue options twice. The ones about Teela. Either I had to go through the options twice or say them in a different order, I'm not sure. And he gives us the code. Alright, we are good to go from here. With that said, there's a side quest we can take care of right now. More swoop racing, that's what it is. And we can make some money. Give me that money. I love money. Right, which way was it? I think we keep going east. Arto East, there we go. Hey, this street is for 
Sith only. You gotta pay a 20 credit toll to walk down this street. Fuck you. This is a public street. Hiding behind the cell cat laws. Typical Republic cowards. No, not gonna try and force me to pay 20 credits. As I thought. What a nice place. We might have a position within the Sith organization for one such as you. Your offer is pretty good. But I've heard some nasty things about you, Sith. Is it true you bombed Terrace into dust? This is war. In war, certain distasteful acts cannot be avoided. But ask yourself this. When we win this war, would you rather be against the Sith or with us? You make a good point. And I've never turned down a job that pays up front. Excellent. Report to the Sith Embassy tomorrow for your assignment. Hmm. Don't mind if I eavesdrop a little bit. That relates to that earlier side quest. Swoop registration. There we go. That's where we want to go. Alright. We know how these swoop races work, don't we? So, who do we got to speak to? Swoop fans. There we go. I will be contending. I would like to sign on as a racer. Not going to brag about my winnings earlier. Hundred credits. Um, I want to talk about the rewards. What does each round pay? Round one, 500, 2,000, and then 5,000. That's some good money. All right, let's obliterate the competition. ready to race. Let's get on with it. Fifty credits will do fine. There we go, fifty credits. Weedle, huh? Should be easy to beat. 23.82. Let's go. Alright, let's let's win this one guys. Surely we beat that. Woo! 
get a round of applause. That means we won, right? Alright, so we won one round. Better save before the next race. Ready to race. 100 credits again, come on. I guess it doesn't matter too much because we're going to win big. Twenty three point two five, okay. So we have to do a bit better than last time. Well, each course is different. Or is it the same? Fuck. Oh, we still beat it? Almost butchered it there. Alright, now give me my money. That's because I'm going to win the next round. I'm practically a pro at this already. We do the smart thing and save again. Huck the jacks. Got to speak to him first. All right, if you say so. Where is he? Next room over. Got it. Alright, let's go find this guy. In a room to the east. Where is he? I'm going east. Over here. Hmm. I'm very confused. Is it this one here? But that's not east. That's not east on the map, that's north. Yeah, great, great directions. That sounds like a you problem, mate. You don't like how fast I am. Sore loser. 
I ain't backing down. There'll be trouble for you, mate. <laughs> I will race and I will win. Cool. Now that that's out of the way, let's beat his ass. Ready to race. Again, 100 credits. Fine. Twenty two point five. Ooh. Yeah, that'll probably be tough. See if I can get it the first go. Timing has to be impeccable. No, we lost. All right, we're going to have to try that again. All right, second attempt. Here we go. Too exact. Cool. Alright, we know we've won this time. <laughs> Piss easy competition. Just give me the money, mate. Yep, he doesn't scare me. Five thousand credits. Gonna be rich. Thank you, sir. I'm the sector champion now. 5,000 credits. Thank you very much, good sir. Alright, let's get out of here. Back to the main quest, I think. So we can just transit back to the Ebon Hawk. And now I think we're going to have an opportunity to choose our party. Choose our party members. Alright, let's take... I think I want to take Bastila and calf. Let's try it out. Let's see what happens. Definitely need some lightsabers and some pistols. Why not? Now, which way are we going? I'm not sure which way we're going. Damn it, you want to talk again? How can I help? You look like you have something to say. I do. I've been trying to come up with the best way to say this for some time, but I suppose I should just come out and say it. The truth is, I have come to depend on you. Not just for the sake of the mission, but for my own sake as well. I am... I'm glad you're with us. Aw, that warms my heart. <laughs> you're teasing me. You know very well what I said. I'm still reeling from the shock. Was that a compliment? Well, yes. Surely that's not so surprising. You're kidding, right? No, I'm not. Why must you make this so difficult for me? Can't you just accept a simple compliment?
<laughs> Fine, thank you for the thought. I know my manner can be a bit taciturn. I know you must be getting sick of my lectures about the dark side and, and everything else. I spent all my years being hounded by my instructors, being told so often how gifted and important I was until I was sick of it. I remember when I was younger, I used to swear that I would never become as self-absorbed and stodgy as the Jedi Masters. It's ironic, really. Mm. Should I compliment her back? Don't forget, edgy, critical, and overly secretive. Um, maybe, but you don't need to be like that. That sounds wise. I suppose not, but I am becoming like that, though it's not easy for me to admit. Being controlled has kept everyone around me at an arm's length, even those like yourself who are most in need of my understanding and compassion. Maybe it's time to change that. You deserve to know how much I respect and admire you. I had to tell you how much I care for you. As a friend, of course. Oh, she, she's coming on to me, huh? <laughs> we could be more than friends, Bastila. Please, it's, it's not allowed. I have to remain true to the Jedi ideal. If this is going to cause a problem, maybe I, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. No, I'm glad you did. I care for you too. Aw. <laughs> well, it was not nearly so difficult as I feared. Thank you for hearing me out. Poor Karth just sitting there <laughs> alongside listening. Now. We should probably continue on with our mission. I'm sorry that Karth has to listen to all that drivel. Alright, which way are we going? Is this the way? I don't think so. I'm lost. I will find the way though, hopefully. Yeah, where, the, where were those Sith hangers earlier? At least one of these doors on the right, I think, was a Sith hanger. I'm not sure. We'll find out soon. Docking Bay 26B, is that the one? It says Sith hanger on the map, so I assume so. Voice is really annoying. He's got all the proper culture training permits, so back off. He's got all the proper culture training permits, so back off. Maybe that's not the way. Keep going this way then. Private hangar. There we go. I think we found the way. They were pushovers. Where to now? Transport? Destination Sith Base. Commence launch. Yes. There we go. I wonder what awaits us in this place. Well, first of all, a frag mine. Let's see if we can recover it. I think that adds it to our inventory now, right? Hope so. <clears throat> Alright, start off by going this way. You there. I don't recognize you. How did you get in here? I mean you know harm. I know the passcode. Your passcode is out of date, and I don't recognize you at all. We'll get to the bottom of this soon enough. Commander Gran, report to the security desk immediately. Oh no, we're in trouble. You 
authorize this person to enter? I don't know them, and their identification doesn't match up. They're spies. What? Sound the alarm! Droids, destroy them! Oh no. Well. Should we attack her straight away? Yeah. Why not? You're a bitch. How dare you? Killing unarmed civilians, huh? She was just a security officer doing her job. And what does this guy do? Just plain murders her. Alright, which way are we going? Let's get all the loot, first of all. Nerve enhancement package. Carney foil. Looks like a sword of some kind. That's the exit. We don't want to go that way. Hmm. Alright, let's take a left. Let's explore this Sith base. Hmm. Which way first? Disassembly room. Nothing that way, and a door. Let's see what's in here. Faulty wardroid. Um, we've got enough repair parts. Let's use it. Alright, we've got a fight on our hands. Um, droids. Disabled droid, let's try that. I think Bastila has... No, she doesn't. I thought she had a disabled droid ability as well. That's alright. I'm just trying random things. Uh, better heal up. Alright, we took care of that room. We should be reasonably powerful. I'm hoping we don't have too much trouble in this area. I've got a stun ray. Foot locker. Universal computer interface. Security decryption interface. Don't really know what those are. Might figure it out later, I guess. Broken droid. Data module. I think that's what we're here for. We come here for the data module, but we've got an entire Sith base to explore before exiting, so let's continue on. Ooh. Disable droid. Yep. Disable that one too. Should give us an edge. Activate shield. Come on, you can die, right? Shit, keep an eye on Bastila. Got to micromanage everything. Using disabled droid a fair bit. There we go. 
Damn, these things are tough. Oh no, someone died. That's, uh, yeah, don't know how that happened. Alright, these droids took an absolute chunk out of us. I think I'm eating my words from what I said before. I actually thought we were quite powerful enough, but it turns out that isn't the case. I think we're going to have to go into this a little bit more prepared. I've got some levels, so I'll take the time to level up my characters. Going to give Bastila a new ability, Stasis, and I might give Karth Conditioning. Let's do that. What? Alright. Oh no, what have I gotten myself into? Disable droid. Mm. Stasis work. Yep, that works. Gotta keep an eye on everyone. Definitely need more ion grenades. I'm using disable droid all the time. Alright, that room's done. Any loot? The robots don't have any loot. Let's press on. Oh no, what is this? Oh. Toxic mist. Alright. First, let's heal up. Right, I'm going to give everyone uh, speed. What? Karth doesn't have it. Sure. Yes. And just run through it. All right, we minimise damage there. Yes. Let's heal back up. Slice the computer. Download the schematics, yep, always helpful. View Steam Control Room. Deactivate Steam Vents. There we go. What else can we do here? I think we can do other things. Disassembly room. Nothing there. Security reception. Security room. East barracks. Can we do anything here? Overload power conduit. Alright, that takes care of those two. Uh, 
Um, that should be enough. Not going to worry about anything else. And is there nothing in here? Steam control, we just did that I believe. No treasure, no loot in this room. So I just went through a, a harmful steam room for no reward. I guess the computer helped me out a little bit. I could dis I could uh, explode the conduit there. Is there anything this way? Don't think so. Nothing. Nada. All right. Time to go the other way. We have a map of the entire place now, so we've got all of this to explore. There we go, Dark Jedi. Alright, let's think about our moves carefully. Stasis. Well, Bastila took care of him pretty quickly. Come on, what are you doing? Oh no, he's got lightning. Shit, what was that? Got Bastila. That's Karth. I'm gonna try to throw my lightsaber. Come on, finish him off. There we go. Alright, we're all done fucking around. A crystal. A lightsaber crystal, cool. Sith energy shield. More stuff. Yes. Cool. Let's heal up. Alright. Which way? We've got a door that way and a door that way. Gonna see what's in here. Force field. Oh, we can't go that way yet. Looks like a shortcut, so... If there's a shortcut there, that means we'd be leaving out all of this area. myself up here all alone fighting these guys by myself and these two are meandering around fucking around going off on their own way that was really uncoordinated that's right I don't care I'm just I'm just having a wind like I normally do I enjoy this game it's fun alright which way now did I pick up all the loot? Am I missing anything? 
flow control room. That uh, leads us back to where we came from, so we don't want to go that way. Uh, we've got two doors here. Pressure door. So this is a water flow room of some kind. Alright, so that door, beyond that door is full of water, so we can't go that way. Another pressure door, okay. What are we meant to do in this case? What am I missing? Water pressure, water has been transferred to an adjoining pressure chamber. Okay, so I can open that one. I think I'm meant to touch the Warning. flow control. Proceed. Warning. Activating flow control will flood this chamber. Aborting flow control. Warning. Activating flow control may flood occupied chambers. Please ensure all receiving chambers are empty. Warning. Activating flow control will flood this chamber. Aborting flow control. Hmm. What am I meant to do? Did I figure it out? Warning. Activating. Water transfer proceeding. Alright, I think... There we go. We figured something out. Yep, I get it. Three switches in a row. Now we are through the pressure doors. Would have been the same deal on this side, I imagine. Okay, more Dark Jedi to deal with. Damn, bro. Damn, what is that? Ready. reloaded my game because uh, that just wasn't going to work out in our favor so we've got to do a little bit more preparation this time in order to take on all those foes and in the meantime I figured out this pressure door this series of pressure doors doesn't actually work the same way as the ones we came through one of these has a malfunctioning door so uh, we just got lucky with the way we came through this time all right preparations Let's see if we can force Valor, Night Speed. Let's just activate everything. What can I do? Energy Force Resistance for Bastila, Force Valor, Night Speed. Let's give her Energy Shield. Ready. Let's give Karth Energy Shield sure. and myself. Um, Wait. 
won't worry about anything for myself. Okay. Did that cunt just reflect stasis back on her? Damn it. Alright, I'm gonna try again. I feel like we have a fighting chance. Just heal one more time. Force Bella. Night Speed. Yes. Force Bella, Night Speed. Yes. Ready. Sure. Save as well. Okay. Stasis immediately. Stasis on everyone immediately. Okay. I'll use stasis as often as I can. Shit, who's down? Not ideal. Bastel is down. Little me and Carter holding up pretty well. Come on, Karth, it's all up to you. He's not going to let me win, is he? There we go. Finally. That took a lot of tries and it was down to Karth in the end. 
an adhesive grenade and kept my distance and kept firing off those shots. Holy shit, that was sure. some fight. I don't know if we're going to recover well from that one. Are we going to be able to, con to continue? Let's loot everything. Wow, the box took him out. <laughs> Alright, let's get Karth on it. on it. He's got the Damn. security skill. Skill too low. Alright. Yes. Strength amplifier. That could come in handy. Let's try this again. Bio antidote package. That could be. That actually sounds useful. Stops you from getting poisoned. Alright, who can we equip that to? We can equip it to myself. But what are we swapping out? I won't worry about it now. Alright, uh, let's heal up. And continue on with the rest of the mission. Let's push on, shall we? Let's see how much further we manage to get. Alright. Um. Stasis. Stasis. Oh shit. Tell you what, I could sure use some grenades. Definitely need some. No loot. Alright, can we do anything else here? Let's go into the security room. And um, we'll disable the force field so we can use that as a shortcut now without having to go through the, um, the water flow rooms. Disable the sentry droids as well. Cool. Anything that can give us an edge. That's all we can do in that room. Security computer room, anything there? Oh, that's... That's the room that we're in. Don't want to overload the computer and kill ourselves, do we? Security reception, training room. Okay, nothing else of interest. And we gained 300 XP as well for killing that uh, machine. So now... Let's... Let's cast stasis on this guy. Or not. Or yes. Yeah. Attack! Stasis comes in quite handy, doesn't it? Alright, we've got a room here, off to our left. I'm not sure if I want to go in there just yet. Because there's a room that we don't want to accidentally go into because it'll take us out of the base, I think, and something happens, I'm not sure. Alright, this is a room with the droids we just disabled. Remains. What do they got on? Gravity generator. Another gravity generator. And as you can see, now we have this shortcut here force field has been disabled and we can just go back that way. What's in here? I'm very curious. 
just mines. Let's recover some mines. Who knows, maybe they can help us out. Yeah, something I should have done earlier. Recover mines instead of just disabling them. I realise I can do certain things quite late, but that's alright. We're learning. Credits. I'll take those. Thank you. Alright, continuing onwards. What's on the other side of the door? It's locked. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's going to halt our progress a little bit. What are we supposed to do? Am I missing something? Alright, so it turns out there's a mission that we didn't pick up before we got to the Sith base. So we can't proceed any further. So I wonder if that means we can just go back to the city and pick up that quest. I'm not really sure. Hope I haven't locked myself out of a potential side quest here. Gonna have to backtrack. In any case, we'll, we will find out what happens, I guess. Exit is this way. Now we're going to get apprehended, I think. Here we go. Oh no, I'm under arrest. Can I use a Jedi mind trick and say no, I am not under arrest. I have done nothing wrong. Mm. You heard some firing going on, huh? That doesn't mean anything. What would you know? That's a very serious accusation. Not cool, man. Not cool. if we can wriggle out of this one. Oh, they're so intimidating. Oh, I hope I didn't break the game. We're in jail. Look at that. What have I been charged with? Nah, mate. You're wrong. You're wrong. I didn't do anything. It's all the Sith's fault. How will you get me free? Alright, let's answer his questions. See if we can get out of jail.
I had authorization to enter. mission to stop them from taking over the galaxy. We did some good deeds before getting someone else out of jail and now we find ourselves in jail. Alright, let's go ahead with the trial. Off to the courtroom we go. Let's get this shit over and done with. I've got work to do. I think I know what I have to do. I have to not allow this guy to defend me because he's not going to do a very good job. Mm, I wish to dismiss my Arbiter. I'll represent myself. I will defend myself. Yep, the only thing this guy's gonna do is get me into more trouble. Let's be smart about this. Hmm, not guilty or I don't plead, I tell. I might try that one, eh? Oh no. Get myself into potential danger. Not guilty. going to have a hard time convincing the judges to let me go because we missed that uh, side quest. I think the right answer here is I was working for the Republic. Oh, 
Just being honest, trying to appeal to them through honesty. Yep, that's right. Ask questions. I was there for diplomatic negotiations. evidence to convict me of this crime. Okay, that sounds promising. Are they going to let me go then? So I can't go back to their embassy. I don't know if this is going to be a big deal. I might have missed some important stuff. I missed a side quest, but I don't know if I can get the chance to do it. Yeah. Um. Anyway, I might actually wrap up the episode here. So, not to keep you guys hanging or anything, but I guess we'll find out if we can continue that side quest in some way or another or or if we've permanently shut ourselves off from being able to do that mission we'll find out in the next episode all right peace out guys see you next time